My name is Marina, and I am a graduate student at the University of Stockton, pursuing my master's degree in instructional design and technology. In other words, mastering the science of how people learn online and how technology can accelerate rather than impede growth. One of the good things that happened to me as part of my graduate studies was to co-facilitate the class instructional technology for K-12 teachers. Under the candid guidance of my mentor and primary professor of the course, Dr. Ackerman, I get a chance to design, develop, and implement some learning experiences for both synchronous and asynchronous work. In this series of nine videos, I am planning to share some of the work that I do. I will focus on my own contributions, because the course itself is much more many-sided and Dr. Ackerman has been crafting it over the years. Furthermore, for privacy concerns, I am not able to mention the names of our learners, even though I have to say that they are the ones who make the entire course come to life. Their final projects exceed all our expectations and make all our hard work worth it. That's why thank you, if you are watching this video as well. And the last question that I wanted to discuss before we dive into the topic is why am I doing it? What made me leave my comfort zone and create these videos? There are three reasons for that. So the question is, why am I doing this? First of all, I'll be honest with you. I wanted to brag about myself. I wanted to showcase my ever-growing skills as an instructional designer to land the job of my dreams. Secondly, I, in my work, I get to apply what I learned in my master's program, like Mayer's Principles of Multimedia Learning, EDI, Adult Learning Principles, Principles of Visual and UX Design, and of course my lifelong fascination with Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. That's why this video journal might be of some interest to those who are entering the program. So, the third reason. I spent over 15 years of my professional life teaching English in Ukraine. I was fortunate to work with the best colleagues, teach the best students, and learn from the best masters. Because of the war, some of them had to flee the country. But most of them stayed, or have already returned, to my home city, Dnipro, which is only 80 miles away from the front line. And despite regular missile attacks, and the everyday pressure of being so dangerously close to the war zone, they begin all their online classes with a smile. They do much more than teaching. They bring the feeling of normality and peace to the lives of their students. They are all heroes to me. That's why, under every video beginning from this one, I will share the links to some powerful online ED tech tools that will make your classes even better, like interactive whiteboards, numerous quizzes, or video editing or presentation tools. I'm sure that you will make very good use of them. That's it for now. Stay tuned for the next episode and do leave a comment to stay in touch.